bloody lovely. Eh? And there's the fire. So we've got the actual main size as we need the one. It's just obviously we've got the grill section on this side as well, which is going to work really well. I think. Let's have a go with the chips. I'm going to have one without um, ketchup first. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft and as you can see I'm back out at the bushcraft shelter I'm out for two nights solo camping uh, Rooney is in char this weekend so I've been here for a couple of hours now to be quite honest and the first thing I thought when I got here was I want to move my bed um, so I dismantled it all put it all back together and I've moved it further back as you would have seen on the pictures that I've just put up at the beginning of the video so that's me full setup done inside of there same as last week except the bed is right near the back of the wall now i haven't got that big gap at the back it's just a waste of space now i've got the storage unit there to the side so that gives me a lot more room to do stuff underneath the shelter in horrendous weather so to, so this weekend um obviously one of my main priorities is i want to sort out the fire pit I want to make it a little bit further away from the fire so it's in centre of mine and Rooney's um, shelters. Then I want to try and get as much rocks as I can and find some hopefully decent flat rocks. Uh, I want to make the fire pit exactly the same size as it is but I want to make um, two bits on each side. Uh, a bit on each side. I want to make a grill area on one side and an oven on the other side. Now that all depends whether I can find the right rocks to do the job. I've brought some um, metal poles in with us that I normally use at other camps that I've been doing over the years um, in another woodland and I've brought some more grills with us as well. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and get some um, like mud and clay and things mix it all together so i can make like a bit of a paste to put in between the rocks to keep them there and hopefully that it should it should uh, harden up like concrete over the period of time fingers crossed that works out because i've got it in my head how i want it and it looks amazing <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to be cooking something a little bit different tonight and then tomorrow i'll be going back to me normal type of eating all right so just bear with us with that but the time is ticking now it is now half past one in the afternoon like i say i've been here for a couple of hours already doing jobs and getting set up and things just trying to organize my kit so i've got my bergen over there i've got all the stuff that was in my shelter in the storage shelter for now and i'm going to have to reorganize all that as well collect some more firewood go up the top of the the woodland get as many decent rocks as i can and then uh, once I've got them, sort out the fire area, get the mud, make the fire, and I'm just repeating myself. So I'll just crack on and stop waffling. I'll see you in a bit. Right, that's me up at the top of the woods now, gonna collect some uh, rocks. I've brought the, the trolley up with us to get some. I'll see how much weight that can take. But as you can see, there's loads of tiny little ones and there's some bigger ones at the back there. And there's loads all the way up and all the way along this uh, fence line. Must have been an old wall at one point. But uh, there's absolutely tons. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start picking them up and putting them in the trolley. And see how many I can get before I need to start taking it back. That's it really. So let's get cracking here. Eh? Got a lot of work to do. And then I need to go and find some firewood as well. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Right well there's the first load done um, There's quite a bit of weight in there so I had to take my time pulling that back That's if I can get it back over all the bumps without spilling it But uh, yeah I've got some decent rocks there There's a couple more at the back of that tree as well where I went um, They're lovely and flat by the looks of it but it looks like they digged in right well And plus the holly bushes covering them so I was getting stabbed in the face by it So I'll come back up I'll get another couple of loads uh, As you can see that there, there's some canny rocks in there like and I'll come back up get a, get a few more loads like I say And then we'll start prepping the area I'll get some mud and we'll start building right i see you in a little while well it'll be a little while for you so it'll be a while for me because it's going to be tiring this 
<laughs> hey, hey, I do all the good jobs when Rooney's not shared, haven't I? Bloody hell. Right, well, I've come down to my water source to get some uh, water to do some building with the, all the rocks. I've got absolutely tons of it, like. And this is my water source. If you haven't seen it before, look at this. I'm going to find a camping spot down here, like, for doing a different type of camp. I think there's a nice little bit of a stream just over this way. So I'll have a quick walk over. I'm just watching me footing. So I just know you went down a rabbit hole before. But I nice little man-made pond. Oh didn't think there's any fish in it like. But what a beautiful place, isn't it? With our lovely blue skies. I think there's a little spot just up there where I think I could camp a little bit on higher ground, a bit flatter. Oh, it's not running as fast as what I thought it would be. Now I do know that there's another running source on the other edge, so we'll go over and have a look. But uh, first of all, oh, I'm out in the sunshine. <laughs> right, I'll not sing because that's absolutely terrible. But this place is bloody lovely. Eh? Look at it. This is me, some dark clouds in the sky, like, but uh, yeah, dum, 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 dum. it is bloody gorgeous. But we're gonna head over to that corner there because I know there's some running water over there as well coming from the main river, but yeah, nice water feature. If I was a wild swimmer, it'd probably be alright to do a back paddle or something or a breaststroke. <laughs> oh, movement. Give not that green thing is in there, like it looks like it's on a wire or something. But anyway, I'll get over to where I've got running water coming down off the stream into here and uh, we'll get some water and then we'll have a, a long trek back. It's quite quite a nightmare getting back and forth down to this part of the woods. Like I say. It's like 200 acres of woodlands roughly here so I'm practically coming right down to the far end of where I camp from where I camp sorry so yeah but oh yes it's a bloody lovely place let's go and have a look up here and see if I can find a nice place to highlight like a, a top and a bit here yeah well I think I found a bit of a spot to do it and a bit of a camp there's a nice little spot just there and that'll give you that little view there looking down to there look and there's also a little bit up here next to that tree it's a bit lumpy bumpy probably need a little bit of bit of TLC done on the ground but it's not too bad up this part here and then that's your view looking down obviously once the midges out like you'll be getting hammered but I think I could come down here and a little baker tent or something just sit and chill down here for the night when it gets a little bit warmer I think that's a good idea but anyway we're heading to that little gully down there right well plan B we'll just get it out the pond this was flowing absolutely crazy coming down through here but as you can see it's, it's just a little trickle in there now I don't want to get into that there because I'd have to go through all these nettly uh, prickly bushes and uh, as you can see that's the stream flowing into there so Right, let's get to the edge of the pond, get these filled up, and then head back up to camp because uh, it's nearly three o'clock already, and uh, I've got loads to do yet. Well, the fireplace, I've got enough wood to get us through tonight, I think, and then I'll just have to go and do some wood collection tomorrow, and uh, should be all right, like. But uh, I'll find a, a decent place to get the water from here. Well, there you go. 10 litres of pond water, all done. I just got it from down the side there. It's the easiest way to get in. Let's take one more last look at this beautiful little scenario down here. Scenario scenery down here. Can't believe it's blue skies. Bloody lovely. It's gonna be horrendous tomorrow. Right, next time you see me, I'll be back at camp. I'm bed porch like it's lovely and warm. I'll tell you what, if there's anybody up on the hills today, the they're going to be enjoying it. Because it's bloody lovely. Oh, 
soon be up there myself like but I let's get back to camp stop waffling get this fire <coughs> oh someone just flew me mouth bit of protein eh never mind I let's get back to camp get sorted start demolishing the fire and get the new fireplace built as best I can at least the center part and the grill part and we'll look at the oven some other time I think unless we've got time to do it today right well that's me back at camp now and I've went and uh, been out with a uh, one of the famous bags for life and a shovel and I've been collecting some mud so and obviously I've got something to come out of the ground as well so that's nice uh, squishy type stuff so that'd be ideal I might not need to use all that water but uh, yeah whoo tell you what I'm knackered like I've only been here a couple of hours well about f what whew. I've been here been here about four or five hours now you wouldn't think the time just flies by when you're having fun Collecting big massive boulders and walking bloody a couple of miles to go and get a couple of litres of water. But anyway, rocks, as you can see, I've got an abundance of them. Um, got some really good ones here, like some nice big flat square ones. But that one's me, my favourite for doing part of the base. I've got a nice base rock in there as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dismantle all this. And then I'm going to dig out a bit of, bit of turf. I'm going to dig the ground a bit. Get in as far as I can. And uh, start placing some rocks in. And then build up the sides. Build up the rock. Um, I'll do the bit for the grill first. And then I'll just... Uh, I'll, I, I think I'll need to find some really decent rocks for to make my oven pot. So if I can make the grill pot and the main, the main fire area for now, that would be ideal. And... I still I've got loads of wood there from the last time but I still want to go out and get some more wood as well so I've got about eight o'clock half eight before it gets dark like so I've got bags of time I've got like what what did I say I've got like five and a, five hours and 15 minutes before it starts getting dark so and then I don't mind eating late you know what I mean if, if, if I'm grafting and things it doesn't bother me but anyway I'll stop waffling let's get some work done eh? Right, well, as you just seen by the time lapse there, I've got quite a canny ditch going. But I want it deep because I want to build the side walls inside of the actual um, the, the fire pit itself. It's not going to be that big, the fire pit, actually. But what I've done is I've come across a massive rock that's right on the corner of part of the, um, the fire pit, which is ideal. So, as you can see, I've got this here. and it covers the whole whole of this section here all the way around there to there so that's part of the the fire pit floor done already without us even doing anything so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get that big rock that i brought down but what I, I need to do is i need to dig into this ground so it's going to be level with that one there and then that's going to be most of the floor done so I've got some canny good flat rocks there to put in. I, I want the, f the the base rocks to be nice big chunky flat ones as well. So that's ideal with that big corner rock already there. Like as you can see, I've got absolutely tons of soil. It's really really good soil. Actually, it's like a clay soil. So that's even better. I didn't need to go and get that bag of stuff over there, but it'll come in handy. So what I'll do is I'll just put this into piles. And I'll mix it in with some water, get it not not dead sloshy or anything, just get it so it's a nice nice texture. And then when I'm putting the rocks in, I'll be able to cover cover all the gaps in with the rocks and then put it on the top. As if you're doing like bricklaying really. And uh yeah, it should be canny. But I'm gonna take a little bit of time out, get a bit of bit of a breather, get some fluids and that, because it's bloody hard work this you know. Especially after all the uh, the journeys I've done with the water and the rocks and everything. 
let's just go 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 but it's going to be a bloody good fire pit the night i can feel it in my bones so i've got a canny depth there um so yeah it's going to be good it's going to be good it means the fire will get retained a bit better as well when i've got nice rocks around the sides that'll protect the inside of the uh, fire walls and then big rocks on the bottom the cut to thingy that and then i can build rocks up on the outer side like on the tops of the sides and uh it's it's going to be great i just wish i could find the perfect rocks for it but you've just got to be you've got to deal with what you've got and uh that's what i'm going to do and anyway waffle waffle i'm going to have a break and i'll see you in a little while three two one Right, well, I've had to start charging my battery because my battery was dying, so I've just cracked on and I've got the base of the fire pit done now. So, obviously, I'll just come to this side because it'll be easier. So, obviously, I've got the rock under here and then we've got the rocks here. It's obviously, it looks like soil because I've just been filling all the gaps in. All right, and then we've got the first start of the lift up going on i've got about four or five different rocks in there all right nice big chunky ones and then the same down here as well look all right so the whole of the base is now covered and what i need to start doing now is hide that shovel down now i just need to start working on the side walls it's going to be a very fiddly thing and it's going to take us absolutely ages so i'm not going to record it all i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring this back as and when i've done bits and pieces and show you how i'm getting on and i might show the odd the odd bit that i'm doing like with the bricks and things all right and how i'm how i'm putting them on but i need to be getting this done because time is getting on like it's four o'clock at night already I haven't even got firewood um sorted properly yet or anything so this is taking a lot longer than what I thought, obviously because I want to build it up and have a grill area on and everything as well. So I don't know how long it's going to take. But anyway, I've got the base done. Now I've just got to do around all the edges and then I can start building on the top around the edges with all the bigger rocks and uh, get something sorted because I've got tons there. Like It's just a case of finding the right rock to put in the right place, as he said. Easier said than done. Now you wait. Waffle, waffle. See you in a bit. Right, well, I've been kind of busy for at least an hour now trying to do this fire. And uh, I think I'm getting there. Like, So what I've done is I've done the grill area. I don't think we're going to have an oven. I might have to make an oven separate from the actual main fire because it's just going to be too big. But I'll take you down and show you what I've done so far. As you can see, there's quite a lot of rocks gone now. And there's the fire. So we've got the actual main fire there, okay. Now you can drag coals and everything under and through in between the rocks, yeah. And then there's a nice big gap there. And then I've got two grills stuck on. Um, obviously, it's not a massive grill area by no means, but it's going to do. If I can get myself a bigger grill that would fit the hole of there and come to the front, then that would be ideal because then I could build it up right around here. And have coals going in underneath through the gap at the side but as you can see i've been uh using all the soil to keep all the rocks in and uh, i haven't even had to use any water because the the soil's good enough so happy days and i've got a nice little flat rock there as well i need to strengthen that one up a little bit that's where my foot is but i've still got all these other rocks so I'm just going to see what I need to do with them. I don't want to build it too high up. I think that's high as it is. If I start going any higher, we're just going to knock into it and it's going to get uh, knocked off the ground. Uh, knocked off. But there's rocks all the way around the sides. Obviously, there's a little bit of a lip there because I did have the grill there at first and I've moved it over to this side. That brock on the bottom is nice and sturdy. How long it lasts, I don't know because I think it's a bit of a sandstone, to be quite honest. But we'll just see how it goes hopefully it won't explode but we'll just heat it up nice and slowly and there you go so that's my fire pit loads of big massive rocks on the ground as well so there's nothing to worry about plus as you can see it's all really good soil that's in underneath all this and anyway so that's even better right time for me to start getting a bit tidied up here 
Get all the rocks put in one pile so I'm not falling all over the place the night. Tidy up all this soil. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, scrape it all up and put it to one side because otherwise it's just going to end up as a mud fest on there. I'll leave, I'll pile, probably get, get the soil to be honest and put it along all the backs and the sides of the fire and that'll just keep it all in nicely and it'll, it'll seal it. As the rain hits it'll just seal it with the heat and everything as well. The only little bit of concern that I have definitely got is because I've got bits of soil on here and um, if it falls down onto the onto the food so what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick quick brush as you can see it's gone quite hard there already and there because I've been passionate tough putting it all in and uh, yeah it should be should be hunky dunky dory there you go there's another task done and uh, yeah whoo so I say, like I say, it's after five o'clock. I've been drinking fluids as and when. Like I say, I haven't even used any of them bottles of water, but they'll come in handy. Um, I'll, I can sieve them, boil them, or I, can, or I can even boil it. Boil that water up and use it for washing dishes. Once it's boiled, it's sterile, and then it's got, uh, I'll have uh, washing up liquid going in as well. So there we go, we've got washing water. <laughs> So, right, now you wait. Time to get this area squared away and I'll see you in a little while. I was contemplating on having a, a nana nap, but uh, I thought no, I need to get the wood done. It's nearly seven o'clock, sunset starting now. Well, looks like it is. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to chop some little bits of wood up. Makes it easier for the fire. Got some hardwood here and I've got some pine wood so it's a nice mixture Whoop, you fucker. that's why I like doing it on my knees because if the gun's wrong it's going on to there and it's not coming from up here down to there see if you just glance off it that just means my aim's crap yeah that's better Let's get all these little fat ones. See how the axe has just went straight into the stump there? It's because I'm down low. All right. Right, well, it's eight o'clock at night. It's still kind of light outside, like. And uh, I'm going to get the fire going anyway. Um, I've just been sitting chilling for a bit after just squaring everything away. So here we're going then. Quick and easy fire as always. All right. Just uh, get that chop on there. Nice little bunch. Now as you can see, the actual fire pit itself is probably about the same size, probably a little bit like longer that way in depth, but um, it's roughly about the same size as me other one. It's just obviously we've got the grill section on this side as well, which is gonna work really well, I think. So we're just gonna build up a, a few bits and pieces of uh, coals and then I'll be cooking a burger and some chips so it should be all right but there you go and look 
everything's bone dry you know so that's happy days isn't it it's great when everything's dry try some of these little bits on the edges just so they get taken and that's it I'm not going to put any more on after this bit I'll keep all them for later on yeah happy days right well there you go as you can see the fire has grown a dream it is and uh yeah the smoke's heading that direction so it's going to be nice and dry tonight but apparently the weather's going to be really horrific tomorrow so i'm just hoping and praying that it isn't so i can do loads of other tasks around camp but i've got gold x gear that's what it's for so yeah i think this the fire pit's going to be ideal it's about the same size as the other fire pit on that bit and then obviously we've got the grill section as you can see i've got plenty of wood for tonight that's more than enough and if i need to i've got a couple of little beams over there and some a little bit further over that i can cut up but to be honest i don't think i'm going to need it tomorrow i will be getting a lot more firewood and they're just getting stocked up and things but tonight i'm going to be cooking some burgers i've never had a burger on this channel for a long time like so tonight we're going to be cooking these i've got some four buns i've got two for breakfast and today i've went and brought out some um british lamb burgers i can't read the little writing on the bottom because i haven't got my glasses on but I done a Marxy special the other day, so I went and got myself some. I've got three potatoes to cut into chips. I've got an onion. This is a um, Spanish onion. It's a bit sweet, so it'll be nice. I'm just going to do it raw. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit of tomato in to my burgers. But uh, yeah, that is the score for tea tonight. So anyway, I'm just going to get my stand back. You can see that fire is working a treat. I can not feel the heat off it as well. So that's great. But once the stones get, once the rocks get uh, heated up, that'll be even better. But yeah, it looks good, doesn't it, actually? I, I like that. I had a rock on the top of the um, the grills on the other side, but I've took it off. But uh, let's just get you back on my stand. And I'm going to have a drink of JD's. Never gone here, a bit windy, wonky like one is. Now you there then. So I, I've got two nights solo camp. Rooney's got his kids this weekend, so I will not be seeing him. So I'm defending for myself. And tomorrow I've got a nice steak and some potatoes and bits and pieces. So anyway, cheers everybody. Bloody lovely. Oh, got the Jack Daniels fire again. I've got a couple of bottles in the fridge, so and the in the cupboard, so I thought I'll bring a bottle out for this weekend. Happy days. But I'm not tired, I'll probably only have a two. Oh, I think I'll only have two tonight, like. And then if I have any leftover, I'll just leave them for the next time I come up. Hmm. I see that now. <laughs> I'll probably drink the whole lot. But eh. Uh, that's got that's got um five five drinks in that believe it or not it's 500 mils of jack daniels it's just one of them health drink things but uh, i keep the bottles when more or less is finished with them and use them for transporting me alcohol instead of bringing a glass bottle out much easier but i oh hey i'm absolutely shattered i'm just going to chill out for a little bit get the fire going get some nice embers going and I'll bring you back um, and I'll do a little bit of food prep. Right, well, it's nearly nine o'clock at night. I haven't done a thing. I've just been sat listening to this. Listen to the bird activity. They're all coming into the roost because it's getting dark. Unbelievable. They're all like, good night, John boy, good night, Sue Ellen. 
Good night, John. <laughs> oh, it is. That is a lovely sound, that. I'll let you go, just need some time. At your own pace, you need to find your way. Burgers and the chips done. The chips are underneath. I've got my burgers on the top there. Now I'm just gonna buy a little bit of ketchup on the bun. Right, let's get a bit more ketchup on that side. Let's not be shy, yeah. Not too much though. And then I think we'll have a little sprinkling of onions, a few gherkins, and then a slice of tomato. And then we'll get one of the burgers, put that on, and then another slice of Gherkin on the top, two slices of gherkin on the top, and a little bit of onion because we don't want it being too big. Oh, and I'll put, the, put it the wrong way around, but anyway, we'll put that there. There's my burger. I'll keep the other one for later on. We'll just put that under there as a survey. Right, where'd I put my spatula? I put my spatula somewhere. Bear with me two seconds. Oh, I'm not going to use a spatula. I'm going to use these little pincer things. Get some chips. And I can get all the, the grease drained off. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, worked out all right then. Yeah. Take one of them posh, one of them posh meals you get in the bar these days, where they didn't put out everything on a plate. They just put it on chopping boards and things. <laughs> Right, I think that's, I think that's it actually. And then we're just going to put a, a little dollop of ketchup on the side. I said a little bit. Looks like it's going to go on off the side actually. Let's watch it and cut me. Cut myself, and there we go. There's my tea. So let's bring you in a little bit closer. There you go. There's my tea, burger, chips, and a little bit of gunash. <laughs> all right. Happy days. Right. Well, now all we're going to do is right, taste let's it. Let's have a go of the chips. I have one without um, ketchup first. Hmm. Oh, hey. I got a little bit of, I think they could have been fingered in a little knack and they've still got a little bit of grease there like, but let's have a little bit of ketchup on them. I'll tell you what, they're nice and crispy on the outside and I cook the perfection on the inside. Even though I do say so myself, but they are, they are a tad little greasy like. But it was cooked on a fire. Right, let's try the bad boy. 
let's see how much of that can get in my mouth before it ends up dropping on the floor. That that is one big bite that like. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Hmm. So I did. That is bloody lovely that. It's too big for us to get me full mouth round it like. But I I'm happy with this tea the night. So I'm gonna wash this down with a nice Jack Daniels, listen to a few tunes, and then I'm gonna eat my second burger and I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the night. So hopefully my time lapse of my cookings went and worked out. And I'll see you a lot in the morning. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll take another bite of that burger. That's bloody lovely, that. Let's hope I didn't drop it. Oh, mm hmm Oh. Good choice, good choice. Right. See you later. Right, well, good morning everybody. It's uh, 10 to 7. I've been awake since about half past 5. I got out my scratcher about 6 o'clock and uh, got myself a quick body wash and that. I've still got to brush my teeth, but I'm going to do that after I've had a cup of tea and I'm contemplating on making an egg banjo or just having some porridge. I'm not really that hungry, to be quite honest. Um, seems to be the thing now when I come out in the woods. I just didn't feel hungry in the mornings. But since I've... Um, been up I've been up to the middle of the woods and dragged down some more logs uh, three big massive logs like uh, two of them will probably get sliced up for firewood because they're, they're all over the place winky wonky and that but there's one there's a nice big chunky one I'll be to slice her in half and use that to um, build a little barrier wall up on this side along with a couple of others and I've also cleared out the area where I'm gonna be doing me um, <coughs> building me me fire, uh, me wood, me firewood shelter. So I've just poured, poured myself, I'll just pour myself a cup of when I'm speaking to you. Oh, this is a very, very old jet boil type cooker that I got sent by a company ages ago. It's a cheap, a cheap old one, <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, it works really well and it holds enough water to fill two of these mugs for cuppers in the morning, so it's ideal for me and Rooney. So, <coughs> I feel like I've got a frog in my throat. I think I inhaled a bit too much smoke last night. But I plan of action today, like I say, is I'm going to try and get a, a wood shelter done. It's going to be raining all day the day. Um, hence why I'm trying to get bits and pieces done before it comes in. So I'm not wandering too far away from camp. I've still got a lot of wood left off last night. I was quite surprised at how little bit of wood I needed to actually have the fire on last night. Um, I actually sat right up close to the fire after my tea and it was just banging out some heat and there was hardly any wood in it whatsoever. Oh, let's hide that in the fire pit. That'll burn later on. So yeah, that's my plan of action today. Try and build a wood storage unit slice some logs up and uh, put me window in i've brought some clear plastic so i need to make some strips of wood to put around that to keep it in place and uh just see what the day brings and then i've got tomorrow as well oh but anyway <coughs> i'm not going to waffle on too much i'll bring you back later on when i when i start doing stuff and uh 
we'll see where it goes from there. Right, well, that's my cup I've done, and I've done my personal admin. It's now 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not doing too bad. Also, when I went out and uh, done a shovel recce, I took a little, my little saw where is, um, which is a little pocket boy, silky pocket boy. I always take it with us when I go on a walk now, and uh, just in case I come across a nice, decent bit of wood that I can use for building and things. And I found a couple of trees. These were stuck right up against uh, some larger trees and they just the, the wood never really grew any bigger. They're starting to die off in any rate. So I've cut this one and I've got a, a smaller one there which will do for a cross beam. I've got another one from last week over there and I've got another one stand up against a tree there. So basically I've got my main square like oblong frame to go in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clear all the ground. I'm going to take off all the little branches off that back tree and that back tree there. These are the two trees that are okay. And I'm going to sort of like make a bit of a, a wonky. <laughs> it's going to be a, a storage area for wood. So basically I'm going to have a post going from there to there, there to there, and then a cross beam on both of them. And uh, I've got this grey top. I'll just put this down there a second. I've got this grey tarp here, which is quite, quite a decent tarp. I used to use this as a ground sheet for a massive tent I had years ago. So I'm going to use this for the uh, the actual roof. And then I'm just going to cover it with some little bits of dirt off the ground just to kill off the, uh, the greyness. So that'll be me shelter getting done today. Alright, so... That's my first priority. I want to get a wood shelter done today. Then I'm going to look at getting some more wood and some of them logs there later on and get them split down. And then what I want to do is I want to find a post that will go from here to my other post over there. And then I'm going to hopefully have a wall coming up so it's like half half the, uh, the width for this, like half the height, sorry. All the way along and that'll section off my little personal area from the actual storage area as well so that's me two tasks for today as well as going to collect some firewood now the weather is supposed to be turning really bad today from about 10 o'clock until about six four o'clock or six o'clock tonight so that gives me a lot of time to do stuff around camp and get things squared away obviously i haven't had breakfast yet so i'm going to do a little bit of work and then I'm going to make myself another cover and then I'm going to make a couple of egg banjos. So, let's get cracking, eh? Let's get cracking. in a king size bed. Tick of a clock, a stranger to my left. The neighbors gave me a sad eye, like I was blind. Oh, yeah. Right, well, that's the first beam done. As you can see on the time lapse, I took all the branches off. Then what I've done is I've used my axe off camera and I've just been taking my time scraping off as much of the bark and taking off all the knuckles. So there's the actual beam itself. All right, I've got it resting on a branch at the back at the minute. But really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up. I'm going to have it about, say, chest height. All right, obviously I'll take this end as close as I can to that tree and then tie it off and then uh, I'll just drop that end down quite a bit. I want the shelter to be so I don't have to get on my hands and knees to get wood out. Obviously the four trees that I'm using are a bit misshaped but that doesn't matter as long as I've got um, enough tarp on the roof to cover the space that I need and uh, we should be we should be okay like actually I think I've, I've sort of like laid out a bit and it does sort of cover it. It's just a wood storage area. And then what I'll do for the um, the sides and the back, I'll just get a, a couple of uh, thin sticks, stick them all the way down and just weave a couple of sticks in just to make it um, a bit more weatherproof, but it needs air to come through it. So we don't want to totally block it off like we do with proper shelters. All right. Well, there you go. Nice little egg, double egg sandwich. We're a nice, 
mug of tea just in time because the rain's just started and I've just cooked it on a frying pan it's um, a non-stick frying pan that Rooney's brought up to camp I've just done it on the gas stove and I've boiled my water in the um, the jet boil as well so happy days like so hmm oh it tastes lovely Aye, cushy little frying pan, that for doing eggs like, better than the last thing I tried. <laughs> but aye, the rain's kicking in. It said it's going to, it's just said on the radio there that it's going to rain till about the um, middle of the afternoon. But I've got goat eggs if it gets too heavy and uh, I'm just going to crack on. But I'm going to chill out for half an hour, get this egg sandwich down my neck. It's now 20 past nine in the morning, so I'm doing kind of well. I've organized my area. I've got two pools done now, because I've done another one off camera. Oh, just spat a bit of egg there, sorry. And I've got all my big pools all organized. All my wood for my fire tonight is under here. I just need to get a, a few more bits, but I'll have loads of little cut-offs and things. So that's it basically for now. So, time to get a nice egg sarnie. A cup of tea and then uh, I'll get all my dishes done get things squared away and then get back to cracking and that's the next time you see me is when I start getting the frame sorted so cheers everyone Right, well, as you just seen by the time lapse, that's the main structure put up, as you can see. It's just just below head height. Alright. Oh plenty plenty of room to get in there. And it's 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 got quite a good bit of space. Yeah. This post here, I was a bit dubious about it, but it's only gonna be having a roof on. Um so it's not too bad. And then I've ended up with this little stick. That'll go into the centre at the back and that'll act as one of my little posts and that'll keep that little bit of extra structure as well. So basically all I need now is put some slats coming from the tops to the bottoms. Never go crossways with your slats because all it does is when you put your top on it causes like a bucket effect. It goes like that and it just collects loads of water and it ends up breaking your actual shelter. Always have your slats running from top to bottom so they're going on a slope so the so when the top sags a little bit it causes like a gully and the water runs down there and off the back. That's the way to do it like. That's the way to do it. <laughs> 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 but the rain's kicked in the temperature's north dropped down as well like it's got really cold my hands are freezing and uh yeah i think it's gonna be a, a cold dull day today so plenty of brews for me and uh i'm just enjoying myself building time's still only only uh early as well it's only half past 10 in the morning <laughs> so i've achieved quite a lot in um, a couple of hours like so I'm happy so anyway waffle waffle I'll see us at the next stage right well the rain's kicking in a little bit it's a bit of trickle really it's now major to write home about like but it's still a bit domp it puts a domp domp situation on it but anyway I've got the roof slats done and I've started doing the back slats using the just the cut offs off the branches I've been using so there we go that's it there that's that's the roof sorted and as you can see what I'm doing is I'm getting the fin sticks let's get these a bit closer I'm getting the fin sticks here and I'm just putting them out in individual space I've got another one to put in there and then that'll be ready for bringing branches over and weaving them along the back and then I've just got to do the same on the two sides 
Now I've got sticks down there that I'm going to be using. It doesn't matter whether they're straight, wonky or anything, as long as it can stick into the ground and tie onto the top pole and then that'd be great. So I'll possibly need about eight sticks, nine sticks. And then what I'm going to start doing is getting all the, um, there's big piles of it up the top end. So I'm going to go up there with a the wheelbarrow, well, with the the, um, the barrow thing, uh, trolley, trolley, ah, it's a trolley. And um, I'm just going to fill that up with loads of them, bring it down and just start weaving the backs and the sides. Uh, that'll still allow airflow through, but it'll stop rain driving in and getting the wood wet. But actually this shelter here is probably big enough for someone to sleep in, <laughs> to be quite honest. Like, it's massive. It's bigger than what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, if it works out really well, I might make it into another storage area and make a wood shelter there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have little shelters all over, but that's what I want. I want this place to be enclosed a bit. So once once we get back up with Rooney and we start working on Rooney's shelter again, that's all gonna thing thingied off there. And then if I wanted to, I could build like a little barrier wall from here's wall to this tree here. That would block that area off. Um, I'm gonna make. Oh, look at the look at this squirrel there. <laughs> Little tinker coming right up to me camp. Look at it. It's just a baby one, that. It's a grey though. <laughs> Hiding. There he is, look. This is my castle. Go away. I'm sitting there eating something new. But I, in any way, there's there's loads of them in here. Like I see them all the time running this little area. I could just sit with my air rifle and pop away, and I'd probably end up with about three or four of them in one one sitting. Like, so that that'll make a good meal one day. And anyway, I'm distracted from what I was talking about. So that's my plan of action. Is so say about nine nine slats going down, and then start weaving, and put the roof on as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly check and see if that actually works. So I'll just pause you a second. Right, let's have a look and see if this top actually fits. I think it should. I think I've got it right with the measurement. Maybe it's not like. Right, well it goes from back to front, but it's not wide enough to cover the whole of the shelter. Which is a damn shame. Oh well, that's a, that's, that's a shame. I thought that might have fitted this. But, as you can see, it's just a little bit short on the length. I'll tell you what, I'm going to spin it round and see what it works like that way. Because I can always... Leave a bit off the back wall. Let's take it off the stand. Yeah, it's not exactly perfect. It fits. And it covers the whole of the length. As you can see. All right. So that's all the back part done there. And it's just got a little tiny bit at the front. And it's not covering, look. But it's hanging over at the edges, so that means I can tie it down easy enough and it goes right at the back. I'm happy with that. I've got a couple of lengths of black top in there. So what I could do is, once I've got that tied on, I could tie a little bit of black top at the front here and then just have it so it overlaps over the top of this grey top. And then that would be it. So that's, that's happy days, like, happy. 
that'll that'll do for me that'll do yeah it's actually quite not not a bad little bloody shelter that actually not a bad little shelter at all it'd be ideal for a small little bushcraft shelter to be quite honest but it's going to be a, a wood storage <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> I wouldn't mind that as a normal shelter myself, like if I was in a little woodland somewhere. It's all you need, really. And I mean, like the shelters me and Rooney are building are absolutely bloody massive compared to what we really need. You know what I mean? Look at the bloody size of that one. But I like when I've got permission woods and it's in the middle of nowhere, it's not going to get taken down. So why, why not build a castle? You know what I mean? And then by the time I build something on that side, yeah, I'm going to have a little pathway. I'm going to make this into a door. This is going to be a doorway. Um, I'm going to do a bit of weaving along here with the bushes and all that, just to stop the wind pushing through. And then I'm going to do a doorway and then have a pass it, cut all the branches off these trees. And that's a quick access there. And then left straight out to where we claim over the fences. So that'll be an easier in and out instead of coming all the way around and down so yeah but i that's not looking that looks all right actually you know I, I, I really like that could build a little shelter like that anywhere it's not taking that long it's only it's only 25 past 11. i've got hours and hours of time to play but i'm going to stop and i have a, um, a bit of lunch later on I think I've got some noodles or something in one of the boxes. I might have some noodles or something. Um, and scramble up an egg or something and whisk it all in. Put it into a frying pan. Make it into egg foo young. <laughs> well, not be egg foo young. It'd be egg, eggy noodles. But anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to um, get some more slats done on the side walls. And then on the back walls. Put the roof up and then start weaving. That's me plan of action today. And then when it stops raining, I'll go down to the old woods and I'll collect as much firewood as I can and then get that out of the way so I can just keep cracking on at camp, do different tasks, get tidied up as well. Cause uh, obviously we were shaving all the time. We're getting loads well, of shavings all over the floor. And it, it does look Hear messy. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Yeah, it is. So anyway, I put two slats on because I only want it about like say like chest height. We know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Oh shit! Right, well, there's me tea. I'm just gonna get it straight from the frying pan. Quite honest. You and I, the future is bright. I've had an accident with my axe and I've chopped through my hand. 